Okay. Sagittarius. Good news. This underlying energy here for your week of the f um to the first like the first couple days of July. You have the sun, potential happiness, clarity, um, things being illuminated. That is beautiful. Oh, this also uh, as you see here, there's some babies in this picture. You guys could be expecting, or you guys uh, could be having, you know, giving birth at this time right now. Um, but um, the basic understanding and the basic energies for this reading here is happiness, is clarity. Okay? Let's go ahead and uh, figure out why. The heart of your reading, you have the nine of wands. This speaks of kind of being feeling tired, um, you know, being you know getting beat up and stuff and just really wanting to just like drop that wand and just go home but this means that you guys are not giving up this is a non-giving up energy you know these times are tough this is really difficult you know this is a difficult time but this is not the time to give up this is the time to keep pushing through and what's crossing you right now is the ace of swords which is victory so perhaps this feeling of, of of wanting to give up it's keeping you from this this new beginning of new ideas a new way of seeing possibly even some victory um and i think that's why this card is coming up for you guys this clarity possibly in the way you speak and that's what's causing you guys to feel this way maybe i honestly i think it's just because you guys are feeling really beat up and really tired right now um so so you're not you're not so it's keeping you from it's not really giving you that new beginning yet because you haven't finished um you haven't finished yet you're not it's not over whatever's going on is not over right now okay but uh it's very close very very fucking close and the crowning energy here you do have the five of pentacles now it's a very weird card to get in the crowning energy um because since how we're going to be reading it is not no we're not reading it as uh what you're dealing with what you want and how to get what you want we're just going to focus on how to get what you want right so um this is the advice card for your reading and it's not to say oh you need to be left out in the cold this is you know you should you know you know let go of support not look for support you know feel broke and that doesn't make sense right so the what it's saying actually is to let people help you. Don't ignore the signs. If you need help from, from people, go ahead and get that help right now. You need support. You have support available to you anywhere, everywhere. You know who you can come to for that help. Go ahead and let them help you. Because as you see, not only are these two people that look a little poor, they look a little, very sad and there's kind of outside being harassed and threatened by a dog, you know, dangers and stuff. Expressing the dog represents the dangers that lurk outside, even though dogs are lovely. They look like they're kind of beat up, tired, and just really worn out. But they could go inside, they could knock on the door, ask, hey, can we stay the night? At least, you know, I'm sure those people would help. But they ignored that door. They ignored it. So, this is the time to let people help you. Let your friends help you. Let your family help you. Um, if you need that support right now. Okay. In the past, you had the Seven of Cups. This says that uh, there was a decision that had to be made. There was some, um, towards a, ch a change in your life. An emotional one. One that will lead you to down a more an emotional path. Um this is also the fantasy card so in the past you possibly had dealings with something that was too good to be true things weren't as clear as they were or as good as they seem or as perfect as they seemed um but very uh for some of you this was a just time this was a time to choose um what this uh, what path you were going to take that was going to change your um your life or change uh, something in your life, your emotional life, your financial life, and so on. Right now, you have the Eight of Wands, which is a lot of of messages coming in, communication, um, big time here. Um, the f here's the thing: the Eight of Wands also, if you're not getting messages at the moment, this also means that uh, things are kind of going a little fast. Things are moving very, very quickly. There's nothing hindering these um, arrows from flowing through. So things are kind of moving pretty smoothly. 
um, with no kind of break in sight, no, no, no cracks in the wind, nothing. They're going straight down and, you know, all that, you know, you know, they're doing their thing. Um, also, this could mean the arrows of love. And Resentence is sitting right next to the King of Cups. Y'all are falling in love right now. Okay? This is true. This is, I don't want to say true love, but you guys are getting hit with the arrows of love. There's the arrows of passion. You guys are getting hit with some passion right now. Um, and I think that's, that's part of, for some of you guys that's happening out there. Some of you guys are just, things are moving a little fast. You guys are getting a lot of messages. Um, and some of you guys are maybe able to move very smoothly. But then there's also some of you guys that are getting hit with arrows of love. And you see yourself turning into the king of cups in the future. Or you are dealing with somebody that's a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay? Um, if, if, if it resonates, go ahead and watch the Scorpio video because they had something similar. They had the king and queen of cups, so that was a definite match. So just be sure to watch, really look that up. It seems really interesting. Um, but uh, definitely, also watch Cancer as well. But um definitely has something to do with you guys becoming the king of cups being more loving more nurturing um but this also could mean that you guys are dealing with someone um that is that is um a water sign someone that is very nurturing and very loving um very romantic um very good at expressing and controlling and manipulating their own emotions and let alone other people's but they're really good at controlling their selves as far as their emotions or they're very good at letting their emotions flow like water um so this could be someone that you're interacting with now i said before if the queens come up i like to see that as you guys um male or female and the king of cups is someone that's like on the outside you know someone that's someone that's coming in someone that's definitely of this sign or something like that and you know but it's not always definite. It could mean you guys. It could. It, it doesn't really necessarily matter. But some. But that's what I feel sometimes. Ooh. Wow. Hold on. I just scattered my cards. Trying to go ahead and start clarifying for the nine of wands, and as you already see, the knight of swords comes out so this is being competitive uh speaking your truth in an aggressive sort of way or perhaps you're dealing with somebody that is oops, excuse me someone that is um a gemini libra aquarius that's younger than you see you see as a little bit more um immature um but this is somebody that's definitely going in charging for what they believe in this battle ain't over this whatever whatever you guys are going through it's not over and you guys are still fighting okay you guys should you have to still keep fighting well you don't have to do anything you don't want to but there's a new beginning awaiting i think it's a good idea for you guys to get that true clarity that victory um and i really want that for you guys and you guys are troopers all right let's clarify the ace of swords what is this victory? Or what is this? What is this new perspective? This new beginning? It's new. These new ideas. What's going on? Yeah, the Ace of Swords represents um, new ideas, a new perspective. Um, yeah, a new thoughts, a new way of communicating. And what we have here, though, for that is the Three of Pentacles. Communicating or victory in planning in the, for the future. So whatever's going on, whatever's not finished right now, whatever you guys are fighting towards the completion of, because tens represent completions, nine is like, you're almost there, you're almost there, just keep going. Um, until then, um, well, once you get there, once you guys complete the cycle right now, um, you guys are able to have not only new a new perspective on this new beginning, you can also implement that thought and that victory into this new beginning, this the planning of this new future of this future with somebody. At least for some of you guys that are in a relationship already. For you, those of you that are single, you guys can implement whatever you've learned into the um, into the uh, excuse me, gee whiz. A lot of cards that came up for y'all. Um, sorry, 
it, using your new perspective and your, your and all this new stuff that you learned from the past experience into this f planning for the future. I think that's a good idea. Now, I don't normally do this, but you guys got four cards here to clarify the five of pentacles. Now, um, I don't, I, like I said before, I don't do this, but with the nine here in the world, this represents all of the tens in the, um, in the zodiac okay this is a successful completion so whatever you guys are doing right now this cycle that's not seeming to end is taking forever and you feel like giving up don't because i mean the five of want the five of pentacles is saying accept help because this is, could lead you to not only your successful not only your successful um completion um but this also has something to do with your relationships this is your belief system your traditions and things like that your structure your rules um this also means um the basic energy for this also means to comply um so um and because you have the queen of cups here when you have the king of cups in the future this definitely tells me of a relationship perhaps you guys are looking to get married or something like that um but that's really weird that all this all these cards come up I don't understand how this has to do with your um with your advice because there's so many freaking cards. But one thing is for certain though, the one that came up that seems more clear to advice is to speak your truth and be honest. Be put your opinion into this. You guys are very good at doing that and being able to, you know, look at a situation clearly, see everything for what it is, and then make your decision. So do so. Not just accept help from people. Um complete your cycle with speaking your truth. Um, you know, connecting more with your lover in a conventional way. <sighs> Fudge, that's a lot of that's, that's a lot of freaking cards for that. But you know, I would feel I, I don't feel right putting it putting it back. Um, so that's your advice, big time. Four freaking cards, <laughs> okay? All right, Sagittarius. What is this Seven of Cups here in the past? What is this? Okay, the high priestess. So this is having something to do with instincts. So perhaps you guys made a decision or perhaps things were a little bit fuzzy. In your uh, past here, in regards to the high priestess, someone that, or like the, like using your instincts, using your intuition, and based off of the decision that you've made. Because uh, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups is about options. It's about choosing which path you're willing to take that'll change your life, or change the direction, or the course of your life. Set fives and sevens are change, guys. So, that's what's up, you know? So, with that, you use your intuition, I believe. That's what it's saying. It's using your um, your intuition. Now, in the present, okay, you have the Seven of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is indicating that there is a message. You know, messages being presented to you. Things moving very fast and, or, you know, with no stop in sight. But the issue is here that it's very defensive communication here that's what it's telling me the seven of wands is about defensiveness and standing your ground so you have the higher ground right now the fight isn't over though this change hasn't completely you know molded over it so right now you're kind of keeping you're keeping yourself at a level of having the higher ground keeping standing your ground and kind of being defensive so oh that's interesting okay maybe you're but it's, it's with the seven of wands though it does speak of almost the, um, the whatever your this path is going your path is going through it's almost over okay um it's almost over um and um Oh, it seems very difficult, man. Gee whiz. Um, it's almost over, but you just still have to, you still have to kind of watch your back, you know? It's like, these sticks could try to swipe you and, like, kick you off the edge of the, of that hill there. So, 
it's staying, saying that, yeah, although the battle is close to being over, it doesn't mean you let your guard down. So, could be just wanting to get through this, get through this communication with peace as or while standing your ground being defensive. Now, to clarify, the King of Cups is this Ten of Swords. That's not a very good card because, as you see here, he is stabbed all the way up. Okay? Um, this is the Betrayal card. The, um... The absolute devastating card that you can get. The I think it's the one of the worst cards that you can get in um, in a reading. This could mean that not only do you um, this can mean not only do you um, feel more in love or maybe more connected to your intuit into uh, blah, intuitivity. The worst is over. So with its defensive energy coming in, finding in, you know, the Nine of Wands, all these, you know, combat, all this combative energy here, what's going on with all of that, the Ten of Swords, future, the ending is over, the worst is over. That's the good thing about the Ten of Swords. And because you got all four of these gosh darn cards, I mean, the one of those, remember what I said about the world, they represent all the Tens. The worst is over. They, um, you know, the, the, even though, like, especially the Ten of Wands, even though you're overburdened with responsibilities and commitments, it does mean that you're almost, you're wrapping everything up. You're going to get everything smoothed out. Okay. You, you may be overburdened and stuff, but the burden is towards a better and stable ending of that cycle. Okay. Um, the speaking your truth and then having something to do with the Queen of Cups. <sighs> maybe letting the Queen of Cups help you. And maybe sticking to some traditions. <sighs> Gee whiz, this is weird. That is weird, y'all. That is weird. Your outcome, though, the result of everything happening is the Nine of Swords. <sighs> maybe this isn't such a such a you know good reading after all. But you, the thing is... The good thing that we can take out of this whole reading is that you guys will have clarity. You guys will probably feel sad and depressed, um, lack of sleep as a result of everything that's happening. I mean, because everything seems to be really stressful and stuff. But the good thing, it's leading, it's all for your higher good. It's always for the better, always for the better. Okay. Um, and as a result to the, the Empress. A, that's somebody that's the a manifester, the one that creates all things, um, that creates anything that she wants and she desires. She is the symbol of motherly motherhood. So this could you guys definitely could be expecting now since you know annoying energy again is the sun, but uh, maybe this is a process of pregnancy for some of you guys if if you guys are pregnant, um, but um. Jeez. But again, everything happens for your bet for the um for for your highest good. Nothing's ever done so to you out of spite. There's always karmic lessons to everything, guys. Also, the nine of swords could also mean unnecessary worry. Okay, so also could be an unnecessary worry. So you guys could be worried about nothing. That's what the, the what that could mean. Whoa. Okay, so maybe you all are kind of getting married because uh you do you see this here wedding. This situation involves marriage. So maybe you guys. Maybe you guys are planning, like, you guys are actually planning for the future right now. You guys are actually going through the steps to, you know, get married. And the issue is you need help in regards to this marriage with the Queen of Wands. You need to speak your truth and be honest about what you want because this is your wedding, okay? Not no one else's. And it really, and it begins, it ends a cycle of your bachelor or bachelorette hood and puts you in the new beginning of married married life congratulations guys and the worst is over in the future you guys will be coupled up and married and all that goodness that means that's the no more stress you guys can enjoy your honeymoon 
Um, so yes. Mmm. Good for you guys. Very interesting. Let's pull a wisdom oracle card for you guys for this week. Wow. Yin, number two. Now, I have... It's very rare that I see this card. Um, I've only received this card once, and it was last week. And I, that's the first time I've ever really seen it. So, for you guys, um, if I remember this correctly, the Yin card represents the action of receiving, um, while Yang is the masculine energy of, you know, doing and you know, putting in the effort and, you know, doing stuff, you know, pretty much the Mars card, the Emperor card. You guys, you realize you have a lot of feminine energy in this, okay? Queen of Cups, the Empress, the High Priestess, all feminine energy. And the Yin card is about femininity. It's a very feminine card. Um, so when you get the Yin, it means to receive, more so than to do okay let me go ahead and read the essential meanings oracle message and the relationship message in regard to that card so that way you guys have a better understanding of what is up okay let me go ahead and do that for y'all all right this is your wisdom card all right the central meanings the feminine principle of receptivity letting someone else uh, make the first move gathering information and taking in cues the art of uh, conscious allowing oracle's message this is a time to calculate receptivity as you gracefully await what is coming to you ready to accept it when it appears yin does not involve uh, frozen dreams or even resting but rather consciously allowing things to flow to you poised to uh, receive the bounty that will be made available to you it implies sensitivity as you alertly study the actions of others and contemplate how they will affect you and yours. Um, remember, you must make space for um, miracles to appear. Be the shaped, not the shaper. And you will see how quickly your dreams manifest. Relationship message. Let others take the lead now. Your power lies in small gestures, small um, awareness and conscious um, surrender by yielding by sorry by yielding the reins you will find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly desire permit others to tell you who they are who they can be to you by allowing their actions to speak about them you will be pre pleasantly surprised very interesting now now, listen here, guys, okay? For those of you that are single, this could mean that there is some things that you have to get through that's using this new per perspective to get to the next level, to plan for your own future. Um, this means letting people help you, letting people put in their two cents and give you their opinions and stuff. This is um, the page of swords speaking about truth and blunt truth. It doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, giving off that truth. It's you possibly even receiving it since you do have Yang, uh, sorry, Yin, excuse me, as your um, wisdom oracle. So receiving feedback, receiving help, letting someone love you, you know, letting or becoming, receiving that person that is receptive more to love. Okay. And maybe even going through some conventional means to get what you need done. You know what I'm saying? So that way that you can have that successful completion. All these cards in the crowning energy, I swear. Okay. Uh, whatever, past, whatever past decision that you made intuitively, you have to back that up now. Okay. The messages and stuff that's coming at you, it's only, it's only, always for your good. So that way you know what you need to do. Okay. You know, is, you know what you need to prepare for it. You may be feeling defensive at this moment, but the worst will, the, the, the ending is near. Okay. The ending of it is near and you can truly feel more in tune to yourself. 
okay? It could be resulting in some sadness, you know, some things, you know, or maybe some, even some necessary worry, but that's all right. You've got, you received what you could, you learned what you could, and now you're ready to begin that new beginning. So that is what is, that's what everything's telling you. In that wedding, the, the romance angel cards, so again, for those of you that are single, that doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are going to get married. It does mean that you have moved into a relationship in your, in your life or moved to a sp a point in your life where things are you know it's the beginning of something based off of everything that you've learned it's a marriage of your ideas and your perspective to move forward okay because all that is all you, when you prevail when you push through things when you get th get to that to the world you get to that ending so you get to the new beginning it's a marriage of everything that you've learned it's a marriage of all those experiences being clumped together to the, so that way you can move forward to the future so that's what that means okay for those of you that are single or so that are in a relationship and actually getting married con fucking congratulations 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 the sun is near so the sun is there it's clarity this wedding planning is, if you guys are doing the wedding planning, it's stressful and I understand, but the worst is over. You probably, you, you probably be more relieved than anything towards the end. Um, but the excitement doesn't end there, guys. It just keeps getting better and better. 